guys welcome back to another video after a long time i'm back with a rom review so now let's get started and which is based on android 11 of course and sh let me show you from settings about section and this is ancient OS, so you guys can see and firmware info you guys can see here android version 11 and baseband and kernel you guys already know that kernel because uh, the trees are from the Dina, so thanks to him. And let me show you the settings. The, this is really a different look here uh, on Android 11 on that row. You guys can see here they have made a category here. Every single uh, section are uh, very nicely uh, represented here. So you guys can see here that the connections. Wi-Fi callings, everything is added in, in that room. Sounds and vibration, the new look here. Everywhere you guys will get a different looks. And this is the customization hub. You guys can get every customization here. What do you need? I don't waste your time by telling all the features you guys already know about that features. What inside of that status bar interface, notifications, quick settings, gestures, power menu, navigation bar, and animations. So I'll just move on to the next features, which is display. Because you know, you get um, the skin attention, adaptive brightness, and everything is just working pretty much fine. Double tap, and I will show you some things just. Uh, safety net issues and CPU throttling everything and about gaming everything and battery backup also so no problem on that and they have made a different category like and different name you guys can see here the biometrics and security and we have built-in app uh, locker you guys can see here you guys can log applications no problem and face unlock and fingerprint is pretty much fine and faster working no issues accounts and backup and they have added here general management and Xiaomi parts available and working no issues on that and you guys can enhance your sound quality and now let me show you the FPS you guys can see and let me show you always 60 fps and you guys will get uh, 60 fps on gaming also uh, but this is not a gaming room as well and you guys can see here let me show you sometime you guys can uh, see a jitter here uh, which is not proper it's smooth if you are uh, not a gamer then you guys can uh, go for that room no problem you guys can easily use and by default safety net passed no issues on that if you flash magics just enable magic site and your device will be uh, safety net passed and i tested it safety net passed uh, due to my net connection there is a problem so let me show you so you guys can see here the safety net passed i have tested earlier and one interesting thing the cpu throttling the performance average uh cpu throttle to 85 percent of its max performance so you guys can uh see here it's uh, up to you you guys already know better than me is it good for you or bad so it's my duty to let you know so that's why i'm showing you and of course i made videos on that 2g cam you guys can see as you can which is working pretty much fine that one and this one so I already provided that video and if you guys haven't watched yet that 2G cams video I'll drop the link in description or you guys will get an iCard no issues on that and those are the things actually in that room and nothing special and uh, let's talk about the gaming performance I played games PUBG Mobile you guys can see here uh, the PUBG Mobile I have played and the FPS uh, was 60 FPS constantly I got always but problem was I was using module in uh, this is not a gaming room and it's not perfect for gaming uh, it was not smooth actually uh, it was not playable properly so that's why um, you guys can't play PUBG mobile using module as well so 
I don't recommend you guys to use that ROM for gaming. And if you are a day-to-day -day user, then you guys can go for it because RAM management is really good. So you guys can see here and built-in app locker everything is available and so many customizations are available so if you are a day-to-day -day user then you guys can go for that room and so many customizations and different looks available here night light every gaming mode dark theme everything working pretty much fine no issues on that so you guys can see here everything is just working pretty much fine so it's up to you guys and that's the ROM review and the calling uh, calling sound everything is pretty much fine no issues on that I checked no problem and if you guys really like that video then do subscribe and hit the bell icon and never miss the further updates so thank you for watching.